Hello and welcome. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson from MarketingEasyStreet.com and author of Azon Best Seller. You're watching an in-depth tutorial, video, and blog post on how to really optimize Kindle books to drive more traffic and to convert more of that traffic into sales. And at the end of the day, if you're online and no matter what you're trying to accomplish, if you're trying to make money online, it's those two things. It's traffic and conversions. That's what this book is all about, and that's why it's a little different than a lot of self-publishing books. This is about how to get more people to find your book, how to convert more of those people into buyers, and that will give you everything that you really, you know, move forward with when you publish. You know, you, you, you're going to publish to gain notoriety, to, uh, uh, you know, bring attention to yourself, to uh, be viewed as the expert in your space to earn book royalties, to build a list, to sell affiliate programs. So many things you can do with a book and it all focuses around the, the marketing and that's what we have with Azon Bestseller. This is particularly video number three. We're talking about conversions and I gotta tell you guys, man, this is really, uh, this is powerful stuff. And I see so many people that are self-publishing, including me, because we all start from zero and have to figure it out. And when I first started uh, self-publishing, I was really good at you know the traffic and the demographics, my search engine optimization background, my marketing experience. I did okay in those areas. However, I kind of flubbed the cover, and I was uh, I was blown away by how many more sales I could drive with a great cover. I'm going to explain exactly how it works in this video. So let's talk about exactly how it went down and let's talk about the smoothie book that I highlighted in the previous video. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I'll have a link that takes you straight to this blog post. You'll be able to access all the tutorial videos, all the good stuff, so make sure you hit that now. So this was one of the first books I published. I published this book, um, like, was it the fall of 2012? This book has made thousands and thousands of dollars. Just last week, it was number one across multiple categories. It, it made tons of sales, and I certainly wasn't using this cover. There's a lot wrong with this cover. Let me jump over to Amazon, and we're going to get into it. Now, remember, people are going to go to Amazon and they're going to be looking for a particular thing and they're going to try to understand you know what is it that is going to help me achieve what I'm looking for okay now here I've done some searches for various keywords and this is a really good e example here I searched for first learn and I'm just like let's just poke around and see what we find and the number one Keyword phrase is very product based. It's based on something people would want, you know, a book that would teach them, that would help them learn Spanish. And we, I can see here there are 894 results. Um, first off, I want you to think about a few things. Most of the time when you publish a book, people are not going to end up on the book page. This is the individual book page or product page that Amazon features. The book uh, is actually larger. I should say the graphic for the cover is larger. Um, you can see the, not, the reviews aren't really that great here. That's something to think about. Um, rather, people are gonna go to Amazon, they're gonna have something in mind, and they're gonna start to search. And again, what we can do is, with that, we wanna design our covers for the thumbnail, a small image that's easy to read and we want to think that if someone types in here, learn Spanish, that's going to be on their brain. And we have basically a split second to catch their attention as they're scrolling through. And they're making all kinds of assumptions and decisions based on what they see. Whether we like it or not, it's just a fact. Now, first off, this is a fairly good cover. I think there's too much here. There's too much going on. But notice, Spanish, it really stands out. They typed in here, learn Spanish. One of the words they typed in was Spanish, and we can see that here, Spanish. Pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and let's um, go through the alphabet like we did in the last video, just to try to see if we, Spanish books, if we can identify some additional keywords. 
I hit E and then I found this one, learn Spanish easily. I'm thinking, well, that's what I want to do. I want to target that because when I target this phrase, I still get a target, learn Spanish. And just by incorporating a keyword into the title of a book, I'm going to be able to show up, you know, pretty high. There's only four results, right? And I'm going to probably going to be able to be number one or number two. Now, let's go back. And let's talk more about these results. So first thing you should think about is remember in the previous video we had two parts of our book title. We could say here that Learn Spanish is part one and Word Power 101 in this case would be uh, part two, the description. Now part one you're going to really want to emphasize. And remember that part one of your book title from the previous video is based on an exact search term like this. This book does a really good example of taking those keywords that someone's going to type in and highlighting them on the page. And when we look at the page, we can see, wow, Spanish just jumps out at you. Another few things I want to um, go over. Let's take a look at uh, this cover in, in depth. Very good use of contrasting colors. We have a yellow background, and the text for Spanish is black. That really makes it pop when people are searching through trying to identify a keyword phrase. Remember my book, Smoothie Recipes for Weight Loss? Well, the key phrase here is smoothie recipes. And I want you to look as we scroll through the various books and look how my uh, cover really pops and the word smoothie recipes stands out. Look at this one. We've got different types of fonts. We have a white background. That's another really big no-no. You do not want to have a white background when you publish to a website that's also using a white background. You can see here the background almost goes away completely, entirely. The background disappears and is no longer viewable. Instead, if they would have had a background color, it would make the book pop when people search or when they access the book page. You can see here my book much uh, it pops a lot more than the other books um, in, in similar regards to the background colors. So these are all things you really, really want to think about. Now in my case, with our first cover, we tried to jam the entire line of text on the first line. We had the subtitle uh, below it, um, and in, as the uh, thumbnail, it was really far too small to decipher. Um, in fact, if we scroll down here, I can no longer show you. This was our second cover. Again, really popped as a thumbnail, highlighted the word smoothie recipes, and was easy to view. And I don't see, actually, I want to show you. Let me see if I can just find something. There we go. Let me just bring this into the frame. I want to show you this. Do you see that? You can't read that. This is a good representation of what people saw when they searched for my book. So just like lots of other people were making mistakes, I've certainly made uh, plenty myself. And that's what you absolutely want to avoid. And by having a cover that is clean, easy to view, is focused on the primary uh, title, right? The part one of your title. It's going to be easy for people to understand, hey, this is what I really want. This is what I'm after. And this is one of the reasons that my book does so well. It looks professional. This book cost me $20. I just recently had another book created through Fiverr, right? So if we go search for Fiverr, I always get this domain wrong. Let's see if it's, I think it's Fiverr. There we go. And I did it again. Let's search Google. All right, we got it. Yay. OK. Uh, you can come here and you can search for Kindle cover. And you can find lots of people that are very talented that can make lots of great covers. And how much do they cost? Five bucks. So here's what I'm going to suggest. If you want, you can buy software, you can try to learn Photoshop, you can do that. Or every time you make a book, you can hire two or three people to create covers based on the same 
exact book and then you can use the best cover that you get and you'll spend less than 20 bucks. That's what I did for literally the book that um, is based on these strategies, right? If we come up and we scroll, this book cover here, I spent about $40, $50. I hired three or four different people. I ordered a lot of different add-ons, so I was spending more than five bucks. And the one person that charged me charged, I think the total bill was $20 for this. And the cover looks amazing. Now, one of the things you're going to want to know is you're going to want to have a good idea what your cover should look like before you get it. And anytime you hire anybody, any outsourcer, it's imperative that you do your work and you give them good instruction. Uh, fill out a Word document or a Pages document and list out backgrounds, border, colors you want. Make sure you convey you want a clean, simple background. Don't try to incorporate a bunch of stuff. Right? Again, look at my background, Azon bestseller. My specifications were, I want Azon bestseller to stand out. I want to have a background based on this kind of look and feel, right? I want to have a subtitle below. I want my name to be below. I want colors that are representative of oranges and dark grays. And when I gave all this great information to my outsourcers, it was easy for them to move forward and produce something that I was happy with. Far too many people rush into outsourcing and they um, they hire people and they don't give them enough information to go off of and they're disappointed with the end result. Well, of course that you should be disappointed. If you're not sure what you're gonna, uh, what you want, it's gonna be hard for someone else to meet your needs. So what you can do is you can literally look through some of the books at Amazon that are done well and you can have a, a book cover created based on something that's doing really really well. Let's come back here, let's go to Amazon. So how do we do that Brian? Well the best thing to do is take clues from other people that are successful. So here we have Kindle Books. Okay, I'm gonna come to Kindle Store and Kindle Books. And what am I going to do? Here you can see my browsing history and this is basically the recommendation engine in action. And you know again the idea here is by following these steps Amazon's gonna uh, you're gonna drive a lot of traffic to your books. People are gonna buy your books because they're gonna look great. You're gonna convert more sales. Amazon's gonna see it and they're gonna promote your book out to more people. Pretty powerful. Let's take a look at some new releases select uh, exciting books this week and you might look through these and look for something that you like right and you might look for a clean design that is based on something that you'd like to create and you can use that as a guide when you basically create a document that highlights what you're after all right let's scroll down so these are a lot of things that can absolutely have a really profound effect on your ability to get results, to make money, and to drive that traffic and, and convert the traffic into sales. This is Azon, the money multiplier. This is step number three and chapter number three in the book. If you haven't bought the book, I encourage you to do so. I think you're going to learn a lot. It's going to be quite helpful. I want to invite you to uh, uh, join my mailing list, jump on, and access lots more high-quality tutorial videos like the one you're watching right now. Actually sign up here and what we're going to do is I'm going to create some videos on review madness and how you can ethically generate reviews that will help with your sales. This is really important and I want you to get this information because unfortunately a lot of people are breaking the terms of service and when you do that, when you break the terms of service with Amazon, you could ultimately put your account in jeopardy. So add your name and email address and I'll get you that video. I'm also going to talk about different ways that you can create books quickly and easily. I'm going to give you another in-depth tutorial on how to use promotional days and I'm going to go specifically on how I've used promotional days to create number one best-selling books and you'll access that when you simply add your name and email in this field here. Hey, I'm Brian G. Johnson. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to you accessing the additional training. Um, I'll see you on the other side. Thanks much and see you soon.